Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh everyone As of today that I'm making this video Thank you to all of you doing your prayers, your du'as For us and for Sammy Today is Tuesday And when his car was stolen was Friday So Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday I'm going to have to get down Tuesday, five days we haven't found his car yet. Let me get Anwar now. Yep, that's hot tea for mama. No, you have to get down. Anyways, they did found the other two cars. Because they needed some fixing, right? They, uh, they uh, didn't drive well because they were at the mechanical to get it fixed. And Sammy's just needed a little tune-up. So... Yesterday, my husband called the police, this, you know, the man who's helping us, and he asked what's the update, and they said there was a camera, so there might be some footages. They found the footages who, they found who it was. So they think whoever stole it, is keeping it in a garage so they are working on finding who stole it and um, where the car is hmm so Sam is hanging in there staying strong yesterday my husband and I were out when we came home he was outside doing his you know he always likes to gluing things together and cutting things so he was outside with his hair forms hair things and glasses and he was cutting metals and then he turned when he saw us and he said mom any news i felt bad for the poor guy i'm like we haven't heard anything dad called the police and they think they know who did it so they are working at it all they can do is work at it right anyways guess what today it is rainy i have leftovers alhamdulillah wa shukrillah i have bananas that are neat needs to be used i have some yogurt that i started last night i have some starter that i fed it there's a few things going on and i will take you along and we will chat but first thing i need to do is get some tea my tea today is combination of raspberry leaf tea, nettle, and mother's wort. I have been drinking that and it is rainy. When I saw my husband taking the homeschoolers, he had a turtleneck and he had a sweater and he had a scoofy. I thought, girl, it must be cold. So I got my long sweater up to my knees. I have my jeans on. Got under piece that I bought it the other day. It's holding up very well. So I thought, hmm, couple of cups of tea, no caffeine, will kind of lift you up. So let's put this away. One thing I want to start before I get into the kitchen is that um, I have water, part water and part of vinegar. So I decided now that since the children are out, and at night I want to just go ahead the sink bathroom sinks and the toilet I want to just go ahead and spray some vinegar water because they are gone I'm alone and at night when we go to bed I decided if I remember inshallah the will of God go ahead and spray because the two places in our house and I'm sure a lot of you moms will agree is that the kitchen and the bathroom so I'm like, the kitchen, we kind of got it because we're always walking around the kitchen, going to the prayer room, going to the living room rooms. But the bathrooms, it's like, oh, we'll get to it later. We'll get to it later. So let's go ahead while my tea cools down. I already took a nice bath. I want to go ahead and spray. Let's go. On top of that, I have lots of clothes to remove, but we'll come back for that. So this is what happens when I take a bath. I left the uh, candle on and I get nervous with Anwar. So. Let's 
take this to the kitchen. Lights go off. It's so cute. And what I hear him, he's coming. and I thought yesterday see that's a hole here there's a couple of other holes so yesterday when we were out of town my husband and I there's a co-op in that town and I found some um, nut bags it's called a nut milk bag I have few of them that I have been using them oh my god I don't know eight this one see you can see it You know my finger comes through so I'm gonna get rid of that so I have it eight years maybe or even ten years so they really hold up real nice so what I will do is let this drip while we go ahead and take care of the laundry it looks good i have to show you this is the raw milk that i picked up from the farm the other day look this beautiful yogurt look at that I'm just gonna let that just drip all the liquid out and have my tea and deal with the clothes the clothes I washed it and then somebody wanted to dry something right away so I just put it all over in the living room so now they are all dry and they can't be outside these days because uh, it's rainy it's cloudy and uh, so I thought you know what, let me just hang it here so now they are ready I am so excited about the yogurt. My husband has been asking me, oh yes, when are you gonna make yogurt? He missed me, uh, my yogurt because he also asked if I could make the uh, low carb keto ganarola and crackers and, and we wanna make some mozzarella cheese maybe in the next couple of days. So the yogurt is nice and thick and I'm gonna cool it down, put it into the fridge. And then when he comes home, he can enjoy it. My happiness, honestly, is watching my husband eat my food and the way I do things. What's your happiness? Yesterday when we were driving back from out of town, he said, you know, when he was telling me he missed the yogurt and things like that. So last night I was able to make the ganarola from nuts and seeds so and I put it some cardamom and cinnamon and things like that no sweet and here are the crackers these are low carb too so last night I was doing a little bit of stretching on the prayer room and then I said honey can you please get it out the crackers so he got them out and the ganarola they were in the oven I had a timer so he got it out and this is the leftover he put it into a little bag he came into the prayer, he was eating it. I said, how is it? He said, perfect, perfect. So now this is what he's gonna use for the yogurt, the ganarola and the crackers. I think he said we have cheese spread, so he probably will eat it with that too for a snack. My husband is, is somebody who likes to snack. He probably will eat like one meal and then throughout the day he will like, especially in the evening, he likes to have a little snack. So let's put these away and conquer the clothes. So when they come home, the dining room is clean. Bismillah. As my husband would say, perfect. Anwar, are you sleeping? Yeah. He got tired of me moving around.
most of them are hanging clothes, so. Just gonna take them to my closet. All right. It's probably best to take this candle to the kitchen since I'm gonna be in the kitchen. My tea a little bit. Are you taking a nap? I'll see you later, Anwa, sweet love. Yes, there are few people who are sending you their love. They say, love you, Anwa. Yeah, you are loved. Tea time. A friend and I were talking. And while we were chatting, we talked about how in Islam, it's so sweet and the same time it's so challenging right so we were talking about this thing about how when you commit yourself and worship your creator and do everything in your part that you can do fasting praying being kind to your neighbor your family your children so a lot of times we feel like, you know, I'm doing pretty good. You know, I just took a basket to my neighbor or the children really wanted to do this thing and I took them or, but the one thing that's so big in Islam that when I really found out, I thought, oh my God, this is heavy. How am I gonna do this was knowing when Allah is happy with you, with your worship, also about your partner, your husband. The part I'm talking about is if your husband is pleased with you and you die, go back to your return to your creator, then you are promised in Jannah. When I found that out, honestly, I was like, oh, how can a human just make another human so happy? How can you make your husband content and complete and happy with you? And Allah is happy with you. And when you return, any door of Jannah is open for you. I thought, oh my God. So this friend and I got into that and we were chatting. And we said, what is the one thing that you do every day for your husband that maybe will take you to Jannah? So I said, think about that. She was like, you think about that. So we're both thinking about it. Like, what do you do? What does he do that is hard on you? that you do that Allah will reward you. So we looked at each other and we were laughing so hard, like, oh my God, what is that one thing? So we started saying, wait a minute, is it picking up his pajamas, even if he puts it in the basket, but washing it every day? Because Allah loves those little things that we do and that's consistent, you see? What are those little things we were saying to each other? She was like, but what is it? And I'm like, what is it? Think about it, little things. Like for example, my husband loves to drink coffee. So every morning, he's, I made him a little, little station and the cabinet above that station, he's got all his coffee stuff. So is it when he leaves his little cup or when there's a little drips of that coffee goes down there and then you clean. What is it? 
Is it the towel after he showers that you take it every day? Or is it every morning we all wake up Fajr and we do wudu in the bathroom and then the sink is it's got little Kabbalah things. So you come every morning and you go like this. <sighs> he left this again. Let me clean it up. It's hard on you, but the more you do it, the more you go, oh, okay, let me just scrub it. It becomes normal, but it's you don't complain about it, and it's the consistent. I pray, and I pray so deep as it's a rainy day. I'll take you, show you outside, but I pray, and I pray for you and for me inshallah that those little things that we do for our husband is i pray that they take us to jannah because that's the beauty of islam i at first i said i can't be married making this man happy how do i know what makes him happy then i realized he's simple I have food on the table. You're still a man in his stomach, they say, as you all know. But it's the more we are married, the more I'm like, these are the couple of things he likes. And protect him and remove him and hide the things he doesn't like. So I pray, you all, I pray as it's a rainy day, inshallah, that we just commit and not be having this pride. Allah does not like people who have a pride. I make this money, I have this house, I have this thing. That's having a pride. But those little consistent things that we do, and they are simple as even wiping a coffee station or washing your husband's pajamas, I hope we continue doing it without complaining and say, you know what? it's all right let's just change it and go you know what after all it's not even so hard to make this man happy to have a if i'm staying home and put his laundry it you know naturally allah will bless you and it becomes enjoyment like making a simple yogurt last night he kept saying i can't believe you are so tired and you ended up making this uh, yogurt and gonorola and the crackers but you know what I did I said he was uh, talking to the boys in the prayer room when they were done I called him I said oh can you please help me remove the milk from the uh, heavy cream so while we we're chatting he's helping me and then I said pour the yogurt get the leftover yogurt for you know to ferment he helped me and he didn't realize and he kept saying Thank you for doing this for me, yes, you're so sweet. So when the hardship becomes something sweet and we turn it around and go, my husband simply asked me to make him my fa his favorite tea, which you know what that is, inshallah, it will become enjoyment that it's okay to submit, to serve. It will become a lovely thing to say, Oh, you would like a tea? Sure, babe, I'll make it for you. You might be tired, you might not feel good, but to say, I'm making something that he likes and I am the only one who can make it for him. Tell that yourself. I am the only one who he loves her Somali tea or her chai tea or whatever English tea and make it for him and say, I'm the only one and he enjoys it those little consistent things Allah will just give us the highest in Jannah next to him Amin Ya Rabbi may Allah reunite us in the hereafter too as it rains may Allah accept my prayers and dua and make it easy for us here and after too because being a wife and a mama it comes with challenges so may Allah flip it for us and make it a pure happiness. Amen, Ya Rabbi. Bismillah. Sister Yasmin, Arherti. 
I can sleep at night and then in the morning when I come in the kitchen, I go, mmm, what tea is it? Yes, just a little cup of tea with no sugar and no honey and no maple syrup. Just makes me happy, honestly. So now let's go into the kitchen and get a couple of things done. And let's not forget the candle because I get nervous with Anwar being home with me. Give me little comments, those who have cats. The candles, do you keep an eye? Because I don't want him being in the dining room area and I'm in the kitchen and I have this and I'm like, oh no, I don't want anything happening to him. Can you believe it's like 10.42 a.m.? And it's so dark while the yogurt is draining I thought it made a mess here you are wondering what am I going to do with this all way, I can save it for smoothies. A lot of times I give it to the dogs also, they love it. This is the fun part, honestly, being in the kitchen. I call it mama playing. I think I'm just gonna wash this and bring it back. I'm just gonna go ahead and put it into the fridge now and let it sit there and to get nice and thick and smooth. There. This is gonna go into the fridge too. We can use it so many other things too. Such a good probiotic, good for the gut. If it was my eating window right now, I would have just drank some of it. This is the cream we got it out last night before we uh, put the yogurt in. So this is really like gold.
talk about the coffee machine, right? Let's wipe it. I usually like to pray my duha prayer between 8 and maybe about before noon. So it's like 11, I think, now. So I want to peek it outside because I haven't been outside and I'm missing the animals, it's, even though it's kind of rainy. Let's check outside. Yep, it's nice and fall and lots of different colors. I hear you too. I hear you too. One thing I like about this kind of lifestyle, when you think fall is here, it's getting cold at night, you find some cucumbers, you find some peppers, you find something. It's such an amazing way of living, mashallah. Also, I cannot stop sharing with people farm life. Do you know the stories of all the prophets? They were all shepherds that just brings such a peace to my heart and i pray we can have that kind of lifestyle and some of us don't desire that lifestyle and it's okay so i hope we have a peaceful lifestyle like in the past our grandparents the prophets the ulama the sahabas they had some kind of natural way of living subhanallah the only thing i think it's hard for a lot of uh, women is having their hands dirty the nails look all the time like this dirty thing but when winter comes then I get cleaned up when the summer comes I get all this sun and vitamin D and dirty nails and it just brings me joy alhamdulillah so I'm gonna wash these working on some sourdough buns. 
when the bananas are nice and ripe, I like to use it for smoothies or banana bread. So that's what I'm gonna put together now. One of the good ways I use my discard, sourdough, mix it with everything. Almost forgot the maple syrup. Banana bread is all baked and done. I'm just gonna let that cool down at least an hour. Let's put the buns together. Cut a piece. Let's go ahead and flat. Fill a piece of cream cheese. Close it. I have an extra dough and I'm thinking about making it a little braided bread. Yes, Anwar. Okay. My little one and I were talking the other day and I said, do you have one of these little earrings? And she said, yeah, so she brought this one and this little thing. This one, I couldn't put it in my nose. It hurt, my eyes started tearing up. So now let's take it out. And then I said to her, have you ever seen me with a nose ring? And she said, uh, uh, just your 25th anniversary. Ouch. And uh, oh, this one has a big hole, Sharifa. Oh, finally. 
this is huge so i guess 25th anniversary that's four years ago we're married 29 years mashallah tabarakallah that's the last time you saw me sharifa yeah yeah this is big though isn't it yeah that one is i think the other one much better my younger days you know nose ring all kind of stuff you know you just grow out of things and you just say i am satisfied the more you grow the more you are satisfied anyway let's go ahead and brush egg yolk i have some sitting there on top of the breads and bake it this is huge sharifa i feel like it's big nose ring yeah. i used to wear a little ones who have it may Allah continue blessing us amen ya rabbi have a beautiful blessed day I'm sending my salams to you and your families inshallah I will see you next video have a beautiful blessed day again assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and I was able to pour the yogurt into the bottle as you can see the fermentation that's going on mashallah tabarakallah also this is the kefir I'm just gonna let it sit there for a while even though i can see the action that's happening mashallah tabarakallah i will keep the kefir in the cabinet so it ferments and i'll put the yogurt back into the fridge <laughs>